everyone, I'm Lori Ann from It's All Primary and in today's video we are doing another Boom Learning tutorial. This one is on the drag and drop feature and how to embed video into your Boom cards. Stay tuned. If you are new to this channel, welcome here at It's All Primary. We talk about teacher productivity and teacher side hustles. And in this video, as mentioned, it's about boom cards. This is, I don't know, third, fourth video on boom cards. And this will be the last one for a little while. I do have a couple more planned, but we're gonna take a break and do some other ones. And I'm starting to get requests for videos. So I'm gonna do those ones. And then I will come back probably to do a couple more boom cards after this one. But this one is gonna be about the drag and drop feature, which is what the kids really like when they are using the, the boom cards. They wanna be able to move pieces around. They don't mind just clicking on things, but to be able to move animals or numbers or anything like that, they real, especially the littler ones, they love to do that. And if you wanna see more YouTube videos on teacher side hustles or teacher productivity, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos posted on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So before I turn the video around, just wanna remind you that I'm making the assumption that you've already used Boom Cards or you're familiar with them because I'm just gonna go straight into the program I, um, I do not work for Boom Learning. I just love Boom Cards. So <laughs> people keep saying, I'm not, I, don't, I don't get paid to do these. I just do them because I love them. If you are looking for more general tutorials, I will put a link up here. And I will also have some links down in the description and at the end of this video. So let's turn the camera around. Okay, we are at Boom Learning and we are going to go to Make, make Decks. This is based on the assumption that you've already got your images in here and any fonts that you want. Make Decks. And we'll start with up here with New Deck. So a couple of things that I want to show you is the template. And I'm going to put in multiple picks and if I leave it like that when I go into the next the decks below here and I just have to click on here um, and I can just then add an image I'll just put some pirates in here Now, that's if I want to do four. I can just highlight one of these and delete it. If I went, oh no, I really do want another one, then I can click this one, duplicate, and it'll give me another one. I can make this smaller. Now, there is a as you can see here, there's a lock. So all you have to do is click on the lock and now I can adjust this one. It doesn't change the template. It only changes the one slide. So I can make these smaller. On the, With this grid, I can change how many. So if I just do one, right, they're going to be smaller. They, this works really well if you've got words to use in there. Or I can just go four. And then I've got them side by side. And as you can see, I still have that duplicate. So I just click on one, go to change image. I'll put the rabbit in there. These can be draggable, these images here. So if I click on, I'm going to do all four of them. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to go up here where the drag and drop options are and hit click draggable. And now they're all draggable. And when you want to drag something, ideally you want to create then a drop zone for them to be dragged to. So you start with a text box, and I get rid of the text, and I insert a flag. So this is where the drop zone is. So now these, can I, you take the little hand and you match it up to the flag. So then a line appears.
Okay, now if I go to preview, just to see what that looks like. If you notice the box, I didn't put an outline on that text box. Oops, let me go back. If I was to say one of these needed to be right, you click on the flag and then a little paper clip shows up. And right and these are the image numbers and it says right now at least one. I want to change that to exactly one. So right now I have uh, these images with a correct one. You can see the green around this one and these are red. This is not going to work. You can't say this is the right answer but then drag them into this drag um, this drop zone at the same time as far as I know but let me just show you in the preview in the drop zone if I go here and it says I'm telling the paperclip that as long as one is in here it should be right but I think with these colors being right this one's correct wrong 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 th this is messing it up but let me show you now this is the only one that's correct but if I go let's do the frog and hit submit it's saying incorrect which it's having conflicting messages because I've already got this red around the frog this is how I'm troubleshooting this I getting rid of the green so I'm going over here to the answer options and I'm just getting rid of the colors that go around them so now my my drop zone says at least one let's see if it is going to work go up to preview let's put in three of them so as long as some of it is in this box I usually want to try and get half of it in the box it should work see and there it goes so let me uh, leave that one for now let's go on to add another box someone had asked can you put more than four and the answer is yes click on here so that the grid properties show up and then I'm going to change this to five so let me which means I need to add one so I'm going to click on this one and I'm just going to go over here and hit duplicate and now I've got the fifth one so yes you can add more let's put some images in here again These pirates are from Educlips. Okay, so if I said, click the bunny pirate. If you notice, the bunny pirate is the only one that's got a green box around it. So if I go up to preview, see if I click the bird, it's wrong. The frog's wrong. That one's wrong. I got two of them and the bunny is right. <laughs> okay. That is how you can add another one. So you can have more than uh, the four. You can have less than the four too. I can just click on here, go up and delete it. It'll ask me, are you sure? And I'm like, yep. So now I've only got three. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this. Just There we go. And then I can just drag this around anywhere. Now the other thing I wanted to show you is sorting. You can actually have two drop zones. So if you want to create boom cards where students are to sort, let's just say we'll sort animals. Let me show you. Let's do six for now. So click on there, hit duplicate and duplicate. There we go. And I'm going to get rid of the colors because I'm going to move them. I want them draggable. There we go. Okay, so there's six boxes. Now I'm going to put, um, let's make a 
button. No, I'm going to make a text. So let me put um, mammals. Mm, let's do no. Let's do farm animals, and then I'll click on it and duplicate it. And pirate animals. I don't know. It's something like that. Okay, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to make a border just so we can see it with a let's do blue for now and let's give this one blue border as well okay oops there's not the same but that's okay so let's now let me put some add some animals here i have farm animals and i have pirates so that's fine so I'll put pirate okay squirrel okay there we go. So here are our animals. I'm going to make them smaller so they can fit into the boxes a little bit better. Okay. Now I'll click on each of them and make them draggable. Okay, and let's put a drop zone in each of these. Okay, so I want to drag the pirates to this one. One, two, three, and then I want exactly three of them. And then let's drag the farm animals, which aren't really farm animals, but they're the ones I could find. Two, three, and then go to the drop the flag paper clip and one, two, three. Okay, let's try that, see what it looks like. All right, so again, if I do one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm purposely putting a couple wrong just to see what happens. Hit submit. And again, the ones that are wrong go back into the box and we do it again. There we go. One of the things I was going to show you is this is not a very attractive background, this gray. So let me show you how to get rid of that. So just click on one of them. And here's your background color, and as you can see, it's gray. I usually make it transparent, which is this box right here, transparent. And I hit apply. And now it's, now it's clean. And if you want to get rid of the borders, you can as well. So let's do that. You go over to the border here, and it's at 1. Okay, so we want to make that 0. Yeah, it works at zero too. So either zero or change the background to transparent. So now those are without, but again, if I go back up to preview, I still have that box, this one. So how do I get rid of that? Let's go back. As you can see, black one. So I just again go to transparent and now that disappears. And one of the things that I like is when you click on the box, down here under containers, it's randomized. So these animals, as students play them, will change. If I want to keep them in the same order for depending on what you are creating, then just unrandomize them. Then they will always stay in that order. Okay, but I, I tend to leave it randomized so it's always they're always changing. So I do have students that like to play them <laughs> over and over again. They like them, which is great. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to have more than one correct answer. So I've got these four numbers and I'm going to go into 
uh, I've dragged a text box down and I'm going to say click the numbers that are more than 40 but less than 50. So right now I've got three potential answers. So I'm going to, I've got, this one's already correct. I'm going to change this one to correct. And I'm going to change this one to correct. So I have three answers. So let's go up to preview. And so let's go one and stop. And it's saying you've not found all the correct answers. So that one is right, but there are more. So if I go one, two, and then do it again. Okay, now I've got two saying yes, this one's wrong. So now I've got that one. Now, if you've got the um, ultimate membership, when you've got students playing with this, if you've got a child who's just clicking all on numbers, your reports will show that. That's what I really like about Boom is if you can see what they're, where the kids are getting things wrong. It's not just what they how they finish with the answer, but the, the process. So if, if they were clicking all those things just to, you know, just click them all until they got them all right, then you will see that. One feature that I have not actually put in my boom cards, but I've just played with, is this video um, tool. Now, what I'm going to do is just get rid of this. And then I'm going to actually drag in a multiple choice. So you can use either YouTube video or a Vimeo, but there are copyright issues that you have to be careful of. So if you're going to use a YouTube video, then it needs to be one of yours. So you need to create a YouTube video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my YouTube. I have a spelling video, so it's my creation. So if I put the link in here. So here is my video on single phonogram sounds. I can do this with, I can make a math concept or a science or social studies. I can, if I make a certain size video, then I can put the different answers in here. Let me put um, all, not, six, no. They would have to watch the video and then they would answer which of these words was not in the spelling list or something like that. But And if you notice down here, um, Boom Learning is now keeping track of the size of the cards. So you have to watch to how big your images are getting, which is this size is just fine. If I make that card and then go up to preview. Hi everyone, this is Miss Harold and I'm here to So this is a three minute video and it seems to work just fine. And I didn't put, that was the word, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember. <laughs> but anyway, so you can add video if you want to do a reading comprehension or you know, looking for key words or key facts in something. But again, as far as I know, because of copywriting, that video needs to be created by you or you would need to have permission from the person who created it. And then you would have to write that in your details if you have permission. Because again, there's some, there's a bit of copyright issue there and I, I don't know all the legalities. I'm not a lawyer, but that is how you use video. So it's actually quite easy. Again, YouTube or Vimeo works for that. Okay, the last one I'm going to show you is the button. And I use the button when it's just a simple yes, no type question. Um, let me just, I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to, let's insert an image. Mm, let's do that. Okay, let's make this, I can center it. 
Uh, is it too big? Let's make it a little bit smaller. Ask a question. Is this number more than 40? I can center that as well. Um, if I don't like the font, I can highlight it, go up to font, and the fonts that I uploaded are right at the top, or I can use some of theirs, but I like, I'll say that one, and I'll make it a little bit bigger, and they can get really large. Let's just do this, and then, whoops, center it again pretty close okay so is this number more than 40 I can add a button and go yes I'm gonna duplicate it so I get the same size let's make sure it's highlighted duplicate And let's align them. No. Now, let me click these both. And I'm going to align them. See, the align is over here. And I'm going to do them so they align at the top. So now they're a little bit more. And they're a little bit off here. Let me just move this one over. That's a bit close. Now, if you notice, they're both, they both have a green around them. They're both considered correct. So I want to change the no to wrong. Okay. And again, let's just preview it. Is this number more than 40? Yes. Now, I'm going to go back for a second. Again, I don't always like the colors. So I'm going to click on this one. See again, there's the gray. I can make them, I can match the blue. Pretty close anyways, if I want to. And I still have that border for the black. You need, just need an easy yes or no. The button works great for that. All right, so if you got any value from that, I would really appreciate clicking the thumb up and again, subscribe so you don't miss videos. If you've got any questions regarding boom cards or any other teacher side hustle, please drop them down below. I look at all the responses and questions that you give and I really enjoy receiving them. Next week, again, we're going to take a little break from boom cards for a few weeks, maybe until the new year. I'm going to give you my six month Teachers Pay Teachers report. I have been on Teachers Pay Teachers now six months and I'm going to show you how much I have earned and lessons learned from being on Teachers Pay Teachers for six months. So that's next Saturday. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are keeping yourself and your family safe and healthy. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.